What's up, guys? <laughs> I'm yeah. pretty. I'm pretty sure at this point we were arguing about like what to do. We were arguing. About, no, we weren't arguing. I was complaining about the signal changes. Oh, dude. What's up, buddy? So I should explain first that uh, there's a plane going by. Oh yeah, I had to open my window because it started getting like stuffy in here. Steamy. Yeah. yeah, I brought the sweater and I realized I probably might have misplayed. Yeah. Uh. I deleted the audio, or lost it, I don't know, I don't know which, I, th I think I deleted it because I can't find it. So we're gonna just talk over X and then X6, I think we did. Also, you can have your X back, I put it over here, because we don't need it. Okay. Yeah, take yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we also got the command missions. That's the story behind that. So, uh, yeah, how's That's it been? It. It's been like a month, we do this like... We usually do it like, we're supposed to be doing it like once a week. But we ended up, do we ended up doing like once a month. Yeah, we got. I gotta. Well, to be fair, like two weeks ago, what was it? Two weeks ago? Three weeks ago. Three weeks ago, my dad didn't come home till like nine. Then, the week after that, you didn't hit me up, or what happened? Or did I reschedule? I said let's do it for Thursday. You you, you rescheduled. And then you just never hit me up on the Thursday. Cause I had to, I had to take care of my sister. Okay. But I just didn't like message you. Gotcha. Yeah. Which so I, which, I, which I should have. Nah, that's fine. It was, then, a, it was also on a Thursday, it was weird, it was a weird day. And then, we had to do it, we were gonna do it Tuesday, but then you didn't mess up your knee back. It was Valentine's Day, and nobody told me. I didn't, I don't care. I, I, I didn't find out it was Valentine's Day until like the night before, and I was like, how come nobody told me this stuff? Okay, so me, so right here, like, this game, I first, like, Meg, I first got Mega Man X when it was on the SNES, and, uh, I think I messed up somewhere over here. I, I died where I wasn't supposed to die. Because, uh, this is an intro stage, and they started doing intro stages in the X series. Because in your classic Mega Bands, you, you, there was no intro stage. It was just hopped you straight into a. into a, uh. I don't wanna say, a stage select. And then they started doing intro stages in the X series. Where it's like. By the way, Eagle Raptor, like, does an amazing, like comparison of Mega Man and Mega Man X on like his sequelitis. Do you, does he still do those? I have no idea. I don't I barely watch anything Game Grump related. I go to their channel every once in a while to see if there's something interesting in there. And then if I do watch it, they'll like stop. Because they do like 10 minute episodes because I guess they're con they're, they're they're like conscious of uh, people's short to just pain. Yeah. I'm not I'll, I'll fucking put up an hour long video without caring. <laughs> Do you Do I like mine being half an hour? Like, it feels right. Yeah, I try to get it to half an hour, but. You know. I think I die here. Or not. I know I die somewhere. Not here. Also, I... wait, wait to talk about a specific part of the game and having to make me actually sync this now. Thanks. What are you talking about? I wasn't gonna sync it, I was just gonna kinda just put it in. Oh, uh, like, I die here. Yeah, there we go. Oh. Right there, I'm dead. Yep. Boom, white screen. Yep. That's, that's our sink. <laughs> you gonna start from the white screen. Nah, uh, so what you been up to, man? Rather uh, than, like, video game, like video working game, a lot now? Working, video games, these video games, that one, this this game called Neo. It's about oh, yeah. like, white samurai. White samurai? Yeah, he's English. It's kind of, uh, yeah, but he goes to Japan, he goes to samurai. Who's Samurai? Is it kind of like a Omniyusha? Omniyasha? Kind of. Yeah. Okay. I remember those games. Mine used to always freeze. At like a certain point in the game. That's as far as I ever got in that game. Oh yeah! What? I should have V Rain. Yeah. Doop doop. Oh wait, that's one. Got when the... are we playing this? Uh, after I get Omicron and after we play Omicron. Alright, sounds good. And I'm playing that one. Alright, that's fine. <laughs> It's just a decision based game, it's awesome. Yeah, but I have to like get the move stuff so I can play I can play with move. Just to torture myself more. Why? Why would you like put put yourself in that situation? <laughs> yeah. I didn't get the PS4 one because the PS4 one apparently is shittier than the PS3 one and it also doesn't come with the DLC, so See like I die here again and I don't remember why. I think I was distracted by something. I shouldn't have died at all. That being said, I still have to get the PS version because I want the they have a on disc that 
in the uh, in the next game called Beyond Two Souls, all in one disc for uh -huh. PS4. So I want that. So for Beyond Two Souls, gotcha. but, that, but that means I'm gonna end up getting the second copy of Heavy Rain. But like the physical version of that is also gonna be bonus, so I'm gonna have to import it. Which, okay. Which doesn't cost that much. But... And that guy just like walks off strange and shoots me. And at this point, I'm paranoid. Like, am I gonna die again? No, okay, I'm good. My health's not low enough because I want it to, but whatever. I remember this time we were talking about like how you can't beat this boss because it's a scripted, oh, yeah. it's a scripted fight. It's scripted. Like, like, you just gotta get here and get pounded by this dude. Come on. Yeah, he'll actually try not to kill you. And then he calls you like a worthless piece of crap. And then, like, Blondie over here saves you. Uh. Oh, uh, Zero? Yeah, Blondie. Yeah. Axel's redhead. I think he's played by the Black Ranger, actually. Yeah? Yeah, the guy that played the Black Ranger in the second season of Power Rangers. His huh. voice is him, and Marvel is his captain. I oh. think. Man, that's some trivia I need to ask Billy. Because Billy loves Power Rangers. I didn't know that. Oh, yeah, Oh, yeah. my God. Yeah, dude. It turned black and white for a moment. Dude, got that low depth. These signal changes suck. I uh, did, yeah. That's when I realized that Mega Man, Mega Man X for the GameCube is terrible. Probably could have emulated it, but fine. Yeah, it would have been fine if we emulated it, but I didn't. Because I want to play it legit. Legit. I need to play... So I'm doing Year of Spider-Man, where I play a Spider-Man game every month. Uh -huh. I don't know if you know this. Uh, I, I saw that you were playing uh, Mega... not Mega Man. Um, pretty Beyblade. Yes. Yes, I dude. That, that game's sweet. But, uh, yeah, so, I uh, guess I'll probably, this will, what day is it? Uh, it is, uh, do you want them to know exactly what day it is? No, I have a calendar, I'm just looking at the calendar. Okay, I was about to say it out loud. I think this is actually going to go up in, um, the last month, of, the last Monday of February, which means next month, March, I'll be doing Spider-Man, the movie, the game, which I have right here. I have two copies. Because I wanted to play it on the GameCube, which is over there. Uh-huh. Well, on the GameCube? Somewhere. I don't know. I have this thing about wanting to play GameCube games. Why didn't you play... Like, I think I played uh, Spider-Man 2 on the... I think it was the PS2. I think I played it on the PS2. That's because I like triggers. The triggers. But, uh, for some reason I want to play it on the GameCube. But, there's a boss fight that's exclusive to Xbox. So I had to hunt down. I, I mean, I didn't have to hunt it down. I just bought it on eBay. I had to get the Xbox version of Spider-Man the movie game. But I what don't, boss is it? Uh, Craven the Hunter. This guy, this Australian guy. Mm -hmm. Based, uh, what's the Australian guy that died? Crocodile hunter? Yeah. Basically. <laughs> basically <laughs> Wait, what? Right? Yeah. That one? <laughs> yeah. Basically, a buff crocodile hunter. Oh, dude. On drugs. Um. So yeah, he's exclusive to the Xbox. Uh, luckily. It's backwards compatible with 360, so uh -huh. I can just do that, because getting, like, an original Xbox is, like... Impossible. It's not impossible, it's just expensive. Why is it expensive? I, I mean, it's not that expensive, but, like, when you go to a local store like this replay and you found one for, like, $40, and then you book on eBay, and they're selling, like, an Xbox original with, like, all the cables and your controller, and it's, like, $60, $70. It's kind of like, why bother? I just yeah. go to this replay. Except I don't have a car, so I have to wait for someone to take me. Or just play on 360 through backwards compatibility. Man, this replay should have delivery service. Everything should have a delivery service. McDonald's should have a delivery service. Uh, yeah, everything should. I, I mean, I'm not sick of pizza, but I do want variety. Um, over here, I misplayed. Well, not misplayed, I just forgot that you can't break- You can break down those houses once you have the flamethrower. And then, uh... You, have, you don't have to come back here, but you have to come back here for a heart tank. You were doing it in speedrun order, though, weren't you? Yeah, because it's a chill penguin. Well, there's different routes depending on what you're trying to do. Like any percent, you uh you don't go to Storm Eagle in any percent, but in in 100% you do go to Storm Eagle after this one. I forgot how far I got in. How long did we play? For like 20 minutes or 29 minutes? 
Uh, fifteen per game. Fifteen minutes per game. Which is, speaking of syncing, I somehow set this up so like they're only like one second behind. That's crazy. You gonna make it easy? Yeah. Yeah, Joe Penguin's really easy to beat. He's just not the smartest kid. Kind of reminds me of uh, King DDD. Yeah, that's exactly what it looks like. So I don't have a physical copy, which I'm gonna need to fix soon. But um, I've actually been playing a lot of Resident Evil. Which one? The new one, seven. Oh, I haven't uh, played I it. I mean, I don't know if you've seen like, the trailer, but on TV. No. I don't know if you watch TV. I, I, I like like staying spoiler free because I don't like watching uh, any kind of trailers. When you even come to movies, I don't like watching trailers. So I was like, even if you know you're never gonna play the game because you play Smash. I mean, to be fair, you're not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> But like I'll probably watch I'll watch the trailer. Uh I like Resident Evil 4. That was the only one I ever liked. Mainly because like one of my buddies got me into it. Cause he, he had me play originally after he had beaten the game. And you had what was it, the Chicago typewriter? The one that was yeah. just broken? Yeah. Like I was just using the typewriter. Like I started a new game but just started out with the typewriter. I'm like, this is sweet. <laughs> that's fair. So that's how you got me into four. Seven's less action-y, but it's first person, so it shouldn't be that too much. You won't have to deal with like bad camera angles and bad controls and stuff. But like the thing about seven is that it goes back to original Resident Evil. Like, like it's in a house. It's like very little ammo. You mm -hmm. have to try not to get into many fights. There's puzzles and stuff. Mm -hmm. It's not as action-y as like five and six. If you ever seen like a little bit of five and six. I played five a little bit. Yeah. I think I've only played the, I want to say just like the opening level, like intro level. That's the one where they're like in In India. Africa. Oh, India? Africa. There's somewhere over there. Africa. There's somewhere over there. Yeah, six is, or six, seven, seven's really good. Seven's like really good. Uh -huh. Compared to like the previous Resident Evil system coming out. Like, been, like five and six? Yeah, that'd have been super action-y. Uh, seven's really good. This year has been pretty good so far for like games. Every video game? Yeah, seven, seven came out was good. There's a game which I have on this calendar called Horizon Zero Dawn. It's a open world RPG where you fight robot dinosaurs. Hmm. Uh, from what Dude, I that's totally not big one to make. Yeah. Horizon Zero Dawn from right here is pretty good. Uh, there's a game coming out called Near Automata, which is also about robots. So okay. That that looks pretty good. It's actually a sequel to Near, which I have right here that I also start playing. Like the uh, the guy from Death Note, Near? No. But there is a book involved. Yeah. That's, that's kind of magic. So yeah. This is actually kind of my like game I'm currently playing. Gotcha. There you go. And then I don't know what the metal shop's gonna be. Probably more games, and down there are my books. Your books? Yeah, my like books. Like actual books? Well, kind of. Then we got the Spider-Man movie novel. Are they all graphic novels? Uh, these four are. Okay. These four are graphic novels. They're also, they're also kind of like porny. That's a regular book. This is a not even a novel. Kind of like a school book. It's about philosophy. Gotcha. You might like that. Probably. Those two are like these meditation Buddhist Bibles that like a monk gave us during one of the conventions. And that's a cookbook. Oh! You destroyed your Ikea. Yeah, I destroyed Ikea. Oh, dude, I, I wish we had an Ikea around here. Where's the closest Ikea? Uh, few... It's up north, right? Or is it down south? I don't know. I know a friend who lives in like down south in Vincennes wanted to get IKEA furniture. Uh, he was contemplating shipping it because the IKEA was too far away, but the shipping was like ridiculous, so he just drove up. So I know it's super far away from Vincennes. At least. I don't know where it is from us. Yeah. These shelves are also like super deep, as you can see. I can kind of like just put my figures and shit. Oh in yeah. There, which is fucking fantastic. I actually just pre-ordered a figure from a, a well-known website that sells Japanese games and stuff called PlayAsia. Mm -hmm. $100. Great. Nice. And they're doing their thing for like the rest of the month where they have like free shipping. So okay, I, so it's not bad. So I didn't have to pay like, yeah, the extra $12 for shipping. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's not bad, but then, like, there's four other figures I found that I want that are also a hundred dollars or more. <laughs> so now I'm, like, in a pickle. I don't know. I need to get the figures. Like, oh, I'll figure out what, though. Uh... You didn't, you didn't watch it. I don't know if we talked about it, because we kind of stopped doing that for a moment, but, uh... An anime that came out called ReZero, where, like, this guy gets ported to, like, some fantasy world, and then every time he dies, he has to go back, because he didn't figure out. Sounds very familiar. I've heard of the name ReZero. I, I, I probably talked about it at least once, but, uh, the figure is, like, one of the girls from there. Okay. Yeah, I've heard of the name ReZero. Yeah. It's, it's just kind of, like, hack. Maybe, I don't know. I haven't actually seen any Dot Hack. Or anything that I've seen of Dot Hack, I haven't paid attention, so I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I kinda wanna play the games though. I should find them. Uh, they're all, uh, there should be games. I think you like those games. They're a bunch of, I, like, I, uh, Yeah, I probably would. They're, um. Probably what I'm looking for. RPGs. Yeah. The fantasy based RPGs. At the moment, I'm, I'm on a small Xeno Warrior Princess. Hi. Uh huh. I don't know if you've heard of that. Xeno, the Xenoverse or Xeno Warrior? Xeno Warrior Princess. The game, the game's over there. I got a game over there. I don't know if you want to look at it, maybe see in her face, like, I mean, like, grab it, like, reach over it and grab over the, under the controller. Oh, it's a PlayStation. Well, it's a TV show first, and then they made a game based on it. Yeah, but that's her, Xeno you know, Warrior Princess. Oh, dude, look at those triangle boobs. Uh, yeah, point is, I I bought that out of this replay, yeah, and then I did a video of it that was actually going to go out Monday morning, and then I remembered, oh shit, they made a PS2 version of that game, of that game, uh -huh. better graphics, but it's EU only, so like, I immediately, I looked on eBay, and it was like, even in Europe, it was like under $10, so I just bought it. And then I remembered, there's also a Xena fighting game on the N64, and that was also like under $10, so I just bought that. Okay. And then like, Seasons 1 through 6 are like, all together in one package for like $60 on Amazon. So at some point soon, I'm probably just gonna buy that and just like, marry on Xena. Cause I wanna watch Xena. I do, I do wanna watch Xena. That's one of the like, old TV shows slash cartoons that I wanna watch. That in the 1960s Spider-Man cartoon. There's a 1960s Spider-Man cartoon? Dude, that's the original cartoon. I'll just take it. Yeah, man. That's where all, like, the Spider-Man memes come from. That one. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But wasn't that airing when I was a kid? 1960s. I, I'm pretty sure it was airing when I was a kid. Uh-huh, I made it. Because well, might... they, they made another cartoon, like, that's considered the 90s Spider-Man. That might have been the one you're thinking. Probably, because that's the one like the memes are about. Oh, here, let me. Since we're not actually watching this, it's just a timestamp. Boop boop. 1960 Spider Man. Part 2. Clickety clickety. Yeah. That's what you look like in the 60s. And these are like the memes. And then the 1990s. like this. It was on out of Fox. Okay, so I watched both. Oh, okay, that's fair. That's fair. There was, a, there was actually one in between, in, between, in, between, in between uh, where it was like Spider-Man and then Iceman and then some fire chick. Okay, so this one was the one I watched. Yeah, I watched this as a kid too on TV. This one was the one that came out on 4Kids. Yeah. And then I watched the other one, I think it was on Boomerang. Really? Yeah. Interesting. Because I remember that outfit. The one with, like, no lines or anything. Yeah. Like, I vaguely remember it. Yeah. And then that one, it's... That one's very clearly newer. Yeah. Just because they knew how to draw a jawline. Yeah, that one's considered... I mean, I guess most people say that anything from the 90s was pretty good. Oh, yeah, most of There's actually a thing about that I found out. I like a lot of people, a lot of older people and like hipsters, they say like, oh, music from the 70s and 80s and 90s, they're like, super good, all music today is trash. I mean... But that's because, that's because like over time, you like filter out the trash. Right. So like no one remembers the actual bad songs for probably more than the good songs back then. Yeah. 
man. Who died? What? 